Judd Mel grew up in South Central Pennsylvania. His father worked as a carpenter in a limestone quarry, his mother a housewife. Judd was the first child in his family's memory that was to attend college. The summer before leaving for Pennsylvania State, his father was tragically killed in a mining accident. This tragic event transformed Judd's life and set him on the course toward medicine. Graduating summa cum laude, Judd attended Jefferson Medical School on an Army scholarship. After finishing a fellowship at Duke University, Judd joined the military where he became a urologic oncologist at the Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, D.C. He also was a professor of surgery at the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences in Bethesda, Maryland. Having treated well-known political figures, he became the director of the Center for Prostate Disease Research, a congressional mandated research program of the Department of Defense. Under his leadership, the center has become one of the foremost research, treatment, and educational centers for prostate cancer. In 2006, he retired from the Army and returned to Duke as Professor and Chief of the Division of Urologic Surgery and Director of the Duke Prostate Center at the University Medical Center. Dr. Mel has published over 500 medical and scientific manuscripts and book chapters and serves on the editorial board of several important professional journals and has received numerous honors. In 2006, Dr. Mel was selected as chairman of the newly founded American Urological Association Foundation Education Council. The Castle Connolly 2009 National Physician of the Year Award for Clinical Excellence, Dr. Judd Mel. With all the challenges of modern medicine, it is great to see a focus on a positive aspect of medicine, the doctor-patient relationship and physician excellence. And my fellow awardees talked about how wonderful it is to have this honor to take care of our patients the way we do and make a contribution. In this light, I want to recognize the patients throughout my career, first in the U.S. Army and now at Duke University. I really stand up here, want to recognize all of the military physicians. I spent 26 years in the U.S. Army and really want to recognize all the people that I served with all over that career. I think that military physicians many times do not get the recognition they deserve, they deserve. And certainly at this time that our country is in, I want to play, pay tribute to military medicine. I continue to learn from those experiences as well as those of my patients. I also want to thank a few of my mentors that have helped me over the years, particularly Dr. Dave McLeod, Colonel McLeod at Walter Reed, generally the, considered the father of modern Army urology, as well as Dr. Norm Rich. Dr. Rich was the chairman of surgery at the Uniformed Services University for many years and was my academic mentor from 1989 when I started serving at USIS to, to 2004 when I retired. I really want to thank the military system for giving me, uh, son of a hardworking middle class parents from rural Pennsylvania, the opportunity to really live the American dream. I realize that this may sound corny and trite, but I believe I am truly blessed. I want to thank my current academic mentor at Duke, uh, Dr. Danny Jacobs, our chair of surgery for nominating for me for this award. And most importantly, I really want to recognize my wife and family. My brother-in-law and sister-in-law, David and Barbara Lipo, are in the audience. I really thank them for their love and support. And my wife, Ellen, is in the audience. Ellen and I have been married for 28 years. She has been my solid foundation, my best friend, and the love of my life. Thank you again for this incredible honor. I will cherish it always and sincerely appreciate this organization for bestowing it. Thank you very much.